uh hello welcome back to time motivation uh youtube channel uh so today is november 25th 2022 and i'm scheduled to write the uh, iatra written exams uh 12 30 so that's basically three hours from now i just here preparing to watch the world cup between Qatar versus senegal uh which is in uh half an hour I'm shooting this video to show you the material I've used uh, in preparation for these exams. Um, um, the ATPL book, uh, because there's really not any publication out there for the ITRA specifically. So this is the closest I was able to um, uh, have to prepare for the exams, uh, the ATPL um, book. And um, hence, most um, content or information I read online was... Um, the ITRA is just a walk down the park version of the ATPL. <laughs> so I grabbed this and I read it cover to cover. About two to three weeks uh, should be sufficient. And then try to answer some of the questions. I haven't answered all of the questions in this book. I've just done the reading um, because I needed something to basically put me on course. Um, good. And the only other source I use for reading is this. Uh, the pilot wise exams now i just went on google and type iatra question bank and um, this is what came up and uh, they sold it for 14 dollars 95 cents or so and they have about 15 questions 15 or 16 i think uh 15 yes and they have really good questions well um i'm yet to write exams to tell you how close they were but I feel like they're the closest thing that I have come across, actually. Um, as you can see, I did all the exams. Interestingly, though, <laughs> I was failing each and every exams. All of them, actually, I only passed the last one. And apparently, that was enough for me to go take the exams in three hours. So I will let you know. Uh, the only good bit was um, every exams I take fail it. I will reveal why I had it wrong. And they give you good enough information on why you got it wrong and then explain the concept behind the question uh, which is which i find really 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 helpful and here just my piece of book that i would just put in my notes and uh yeah um so for my itra these are the stuff that i've used um i've understood that pilot training have a good resource on this as well um i find the cost was i think 200 dollars, and this was a hundred dollars so the price for the atp is 100 pilot training was 200 so i decided hey let me save 100 dollars let me just get the atpl textbook read through it and this for 15 dollars and uh yeah i've actually looked on youtube as well to see if there's any video covering the itra exams uh yeah not really much um no um but, but online though uh, you do have um forums around that uh basically um discuss their experience and the materials they used to study so overall I would say the ATPL textbook is a good help. And of course, if you can get this pilot exams, um, the wisepilot.com for $14.95, $15, it is really, really going to give you perspective on how ready or not ready you are. Well, I will soon find out how ready or not ready I am. But either way, I'm going to take the exams. After failing 14 of these exams and pass the only one, which is the 15th one, I will let you know. Um, um how it works out on the comment section again thanks and good luck no, bye. well here we are at the 4900 Yon street for the iatra written exams guys when i get back i definitely would let you know how that went okay guys um i scored 80 percent on the exams and this were the feedback so the question bank actually worked apparently. Um, uh, there were some really tricky questions, um, uh, but if you really understand the nature of the questions you used, um, you should be fine generally. Um, hello guys, welcome back to Time Motivation. Um, so yes, I did take the IATRA exams and as you've seen in that video, I was able to make a pass. And I'm happy about it because it's been bothering me. Uh, yes. Okay, so a couple things I found that was really, really helpful was what I said earlier. Um, the ATPL by Sharper's Edge. This was a really, really good publication. This one right here. 
and of course um wise pilot exams for 15 dollars. that was really good as well uh some of the questions um were basically tit for tat like i have read them that's basically how i saw them there as well which i feel was really really lucky um my exam set had a lot of weather questions i didn't prepare for that enough uh but yes there was a couple questions and surface analysis chart and of course gfa it's in every exams uh, so that's definitely something you want to look out for um, there is also questions on um, performance calculation. Now, when I was preparing for these exams, I did not do much of calculation, but I was skipping every part that has to do with calculation. Uh, so when I get to the exams, I've had to at least do one or two. Because the reason is it's 50 questions, you need to pass at least 35 questions. So what I was doing is basically, as I was answering the questions, any questions I'm not sure, I'll just write the number, uh, because I needed to be sure that at least 35 questions is right. Uh, but luckily the material used it really really good there were some questions just as i've seen them on wise pilot that was the same way i saw them on the actual exams so all in all it's really not a difficult exams but just study it seriously and you should be able to just breeze through it and the problem i had is also i was basically studying casually and casually and casually so i was on the fence when i was about to go take the exams uh, but if you really really spend good time um even a good two weeks of hard study should be able to get this out of the way really really but if you want to take it casual, then probably give yourself uh, more time and definitely do those calculations like how to calculate true airspeed when you have to adjust it for adjust the indicated airspeed to calibrated, calibrated to equivalent, equivalent airspeed now to true airspeed. So expect something like that um, in the exams. Um, um, I struggled with that. And, um, and like I said, I was trying to skip all the, everything that had to do with calculation, but they were there. Calculations on critical point, point of no return. Now all these things are the syllabus for Transport Canada. So just expect them and be ready. But you should be fine. It's one of those exams that, you know, once you do it, you go out saying, hey, it was really, really easy. But when you were preparing to go, it wasn't as easy as that. I mean, anyways, thanks for watching and share it. There's not much content on ITRA in Canada. Um, so I'm sure this um, would basically prompt other people to come up as well so we have more material out there but again thanks for watching and thanks for supporting